Centuries ago, excess money was buried in the ground for safekeeping, rather than being deposited in banks. Although the soil did not pay high interest, it kept the money safe. Today, these buried treasures are being discovered one after another by treasure hunters who use old maps and technological tools to locate them, and get rich quickly. Some of these treasures were buried for religious reasons, while others were buried by people who wanted to keep their wealth safe. With the death of those who knew the locations of these treasures, they were forgotten. There are still hundreds of undiscovered treasures lying beneath the soil we walk on. The Nuestra Señora de Atocha ship. This Spanish ship, filled with treasure looted from the natives of South America, was on its way to Spain when it was caught in a storm on September 6, 1622. Overloaded, the ship sank off the coast of Florida with all its gold. Centuries later, in 1985, an American treasure hunter named Mel Fisher found part of the lost treasure, worth $500 million at the time. However, when the records of the lost ship were examined, it was discovered that 17 tons of silver, 128,000 gold coins, 27 kilograms of emeralds, and 35 cases of gold jewelry were still missing. Mel Fisher, who later founded a company engaged in treasure hunting, continued his search underwater but did not find any more of the treasure. The Treasure of the Pirate Blackbeard Blackbeard, one of the most famous pirates in history, worked as a crewman on pirate ships for many years before becoming a captain. Although his captaincy lasted only two years, he plundered huge treasures, and amassed a great fortune. He was killed in a battle with British naval forces in 1718, but his treasure was never captured. Although his ship, which sank during the battle, was found by treasure hunters in 1996, no treasure was found on board. Some researchers believe that the treasure may be located in the Caribbean or Cayman Islands, and it is still being sought by treasure hunters today. The Lost Treasure of Byzantium Is the bottom of the Golden Horn really full of gold? Or is this just an urban legend? This claim is based on the fact that the history of Istanbul is very old, and the Golden Horn has been home to maritime traffic since its existence. Claims such as the ships carrying booty during the Ottoman period overturned while docking in the Golden Horn due to their weight, the ship carrying the treasures of King Justinian during the siege of Istanbul was sunk in the Golden Horn while trying to escape from the city, and that the Christian people in Istanbul before the siege threw them into the Golden Horn rather than losing them to the Ottomans have been rumored for centuries. But the reality of all these claims has not yet been proven. However, it could not be refuted either. Perhaps one of the greatest treasures in the world has been with us for centuries. This event is still a mystery. One such treasure is the funeral of Attila the Hunt. Emperor Attila, who made all of Europe tremble, and forced the Pope to kneel, died in 453. According to the writings of the Roman ambassador Priscus, Attila's body was first placed in a gold coffin, then in a silver coffin, and finally in an iron coffin. He was then buried with countless jewels and gold. All those who attended the funeral were killed by Attila's loyal soldiers to keep the location of the grave secret. Some historians claim that the bed of the Danube River was temporarily diverted, and Attila's body was buried under the river. Since the Danube is very long, and passes through many countries, no excavation work can be carried out due to bureaucratic problems. The Treasure of Piri Race The famous Ottoman sailor Piri Race left a treasure to the Ottoman maritime with the map he drew, and the book he wrote about maritime. Piri Race and his uncle Kemal Race, who were pirates in the Mediterranean during the reign of Bayez II, joined the Ottoman navy through an agreement. The agreement between them, and the Ottomans stated that the lands they obtained during their raids would be considered Ottoman land, but the spoils of war would remain with the sailors. Under these conditions, Piri Race won many wars, and accumulated material wealth over time. However, this treasure was not found after his death. Some historians claim that it is buried in Kilitbyr Castle in Chinakale, where he lived for many years and used as his home, 